Carl Stahl presents the rope spelter socket as a core competence in rope work. The special feature of the rope spelter socket is that it is the only rope connection that can transfer 100% of the rope force and doesn't result in a capacity loss, as is the case with other rope connections. Carl Stahl's master rope makers produce the rope end connection for many technical application areas. For example, carrier cables and hauling cables for cableways, as well as cables as a machine element. The rope spelter socket is a rope end connection in which the broom-shaped rope end is held by the casting compound, metal or artificial resin. All production steps and the correct execution are specified in standards and directives. This procedure takes approximately four hours and calls for rope maker training, experience, competence and material. In the first step for the rope spelter socket, the Karl Stahl rope maker places wire coils to prevent the unintentional untwisting of the rope. For this procedure, the rope maker measures the precise distances, cuts defined lengths of wires and binds them around the wire rope. This procedure requires precision and takes approximately 30 minutes. The next step for the rope spelter socket is the production of the so-called wire broom. For this, all wires in the rope are untwisted to a previously calculated length. To do this, the rope maker bends the so-called stranded wires open. A rope consists of multiple stranded wires. One stranded wire consists of a core wire and one or more layers of round wires. The round wires are stranded around the core wire in a helical pattern. The rope maker unravels the individual wire layers until each individual wire is free, thus finishing the rope broom. For this, the rope maker needs 30 minutes, the tool and high precision. Thorough cleaning of the rope end connection, so that it is free of grease and drawing agents used in the manufacturing process, is important for the later function of the rope end connection. To do this, the rope maker first subjects the rope broom to a cold, chemical cleaning process. Karl Stahl uses specially manufactured ultrasonic cleaning devices for the cleaning process, which is followed by three washing cycles at boiling temperatures, to remove any remaining traces of grease. Thus, Karl Stahl ensures that no chemical cleaning substances whatsoever remain in the wire rope broom route. These could later result in undesired corrosion. Thus, rope spelter sockets from Karl Stahl have the longest service life and satisfy the most rigorous safety requirements. In the next production step, the rope maker adjusts the wire rope and the mold, the so-called chilled casting, for the spelter socket. The chilled casting for the standard spelter socket is always cone-shaped, so that the wire can be held in rope pair sockets or muffs with positive locking. When the vertical position of the chilled casting is reached, the pre-warming process starts. The Karl Stahl rope maker uses a special burner attachment to preheat the chilled casting to precisely 225 degrees Celsius, which is the melting temperature of the tin alloy casting material. In parallel, the rope maker melts the tin alloy on a table burner that has been specially designed for this application. Then, the rope maker pours molten tin alloy into the chilled casting in a single motion. In the process, the rope maker concentrates on a flowing and uniform casting procedure to exclude the possibility of air entrapment and to achieve the best result. The rope spelter socket cools at room temperature and reaches its full strength after approximately one to two hours. So that the quality and high value of the rope end connection are ensured by the rope spelter socket, the rope maker performs a visual inspection for gas bubbles and checks for the absence of cracks. If the test is passed, the rope maker adds the Karl Stahl identifier to the rope spelter socket and thus documents the high quality of Karl Stahl. Karl Stahl, connected to safety.